In terms of the sequencing, what we have now, assuming that we can give abiraterone in the pre-chemotherapy space, the, the other agent that we can give in the pre-chemotherapy space is Cipulacil T or Provenge, and then chemotherapy itself. And, and so the decision is going to be one of, is my patient not sick enough uh, to get chemotherapy? Um, and is he uh, asymptomatic and uh, able to get Cipulacil T? And if he is and his disease is more indolent, I would continue to recommend that Cipulacil T could be given. Um, if the patient is symptomatic, then he doesn't meet the indication for uh, Cipulacil and he doesn't meet the indication for abiraterone based on this trial, um, so he should get chemotherapy. And in this, it's those patients in between, and there are a lot of them, who have progressive metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer who are asymptomatic, who are looking for a treatment that again, will maintain quality of life, delay the onset of chemotherapy, et cetera. That's your ideal patient for abiraterone. Finally, we have to be cognizant of the fact that the prednisone may have an adverse effect on what you're trying to do with Provenge if you're giving it. So if you're giving it a vaccine and then you follow it up right away with a, with a prednisone-containing regimen, there's a theoretical possibility that the, the efficacy of the vaccine could be, could be reduced. I actually think it's fine to give Provenge, wait a couple months, then give the abiraterone. I don't know what to say about giving abiraterone and then giving Provenge afterwards because um, the steroids that have been incorporated into the abiraterone maybe are, uh, are going to uh, you know, have an effect, a negative effect on the Provenge application. Uh, so finally, uh, you know, I think it's, just, it's, it's a great opportunity given what we had for prostate cancer even five years ago. The fact that we have all these agents now is really very exciting.